in came Ram Naresh Sawan. He was in sublime form. But the bowling was not that great, to tell the truth. And he made 79. But Sawan, just 31 from just 15 balls. Sawan at the other end kept on making the board tick over. Too many full tosses. That was the name to do the damage. Half century for Sawan. And the Ghana team members cheered him on. He tried to get his century, but he also came to the party. But it was Ramres Sawan's birthday. And he enjoyed. Another big shot. And another six. Studio with us uh, this morning uh, live uh, uh, in iRadio's uh, studio today is my very good friend Randari Sarwan. Uh, Ronnie, what's happening, my brother? How are things going this morning? Good morning, morning, and good morning to all the listeners. What's happening cricket wise? Uh, quite a lot, quite quite an achiever uh, for your cricket career. I mean, uh, we've we, we've said this uh, this discussion many many times already. Um, you were just not uh, an average player at the end of the day because uh, not taking anything away from the current West Indian players, but put maybe the whole team together minus Chris Gale and uh, I think you would be just about right. Chris Gale and well, well, Shiv is not in the lineup right now, uh, but you're right up at the top as at the top players as it is. Uh, that 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 quite have been a, a fun time for you in cricket. Yeah, it was obviously. Um, I thought I achieved a lot of stuff, but I think that's for the public to to judge. But um, nevertheless, um, I think there's a new opportunity now for, for me to, to participate in a try match uh, in Jamaica and hopefully be able to, to score some runs again. Do you, do you do do you look back uh, on your achievement as, as as a young man? You know, you started cricket at a tender age. Do you look it back as as a motivator? What do you do? Uh, like, I mean, I was just reading the stats out. What do you do? Uh, uh, at right times, now? sometimes I just look back at it and and maybe if I played, if I played a hundred test matches, um, it would have been really really nice. But um, obviously things are different now. But um, I don't really regret anything. I'm very grateful and, and thankful for everything I've achieved. That that two ninety three that I was talking about. Two ninety one. Two ninety one. Two ninety one. Two ninety one. What I remember that game. Uh, that was, it was against uh, England, England in, in Barbados. In Barbados. Uh, Barbados uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I remember that tournament. There was a game right in Ghana. I think it was. Uh, um, which one of these matches or which one of these centuries would you prize uh, as as maybe a special one, probably? Um, there's a couple, but I think the 100 against Australia when we chased uh, 418 in Antigua and I scored 1-5 uh, and five and Ship scored 100 as well. But the mm -hmm. fact that we were able to score 418 four and um, it was a historic chase, so that, that was, was one that stood out, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, we chatted a little bit on, on the past and, and everything. Uh, your your lineup right now. There's, there's some changes in cricket these days. We we've seen franchise cricket uh, change so much over the years. Uh, now the four day tournament has gone into a franchise a franchise uh, system. system as well, right? Is it the Jamaican Scorpions? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. Um, explain a little bit. I mean, I'm a little bit new to it as well. Uh, do I'm a, oh, I'm, I'm new a huge. To it as well. <laughs> oh well, that's good. <laughs> well, well, but then I I don't feel bad I anymore. I only found out about it um, during the CPL when uh, the the cricket was playing here. I, mm -hmm. I went to visit a few of the guys at um, the Marriott Hotel and mm -hmm. I ran into a couple of them and I spoke to Dr. Man saying obviously I'm fully aware that there's a possibility I never play for Ghana national team anymore in terms of the four day and the one day competition. So um, he was asking me if I'm playing so I told him no and then he asked me if, um, if I wanna why don't I try it for Jamaica and see if I'd be able to, to make the team. So I asked mm -hmm. him, how is that possible? Mm -hmm. um, and then he went through the whole... And explained the whole line explain the whole, how, how it mm -hmm, goes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it means uh, that the Jamaican Scorpion, of course, there's. Uh, I know that you've been uh, doing some training over the last week. Or you've, you've, been, you've been a fitness Well, I've been doing some, so, some running and, and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. Not to some... But I'm getting there where I want to be. So good, it'll good. take some time. Um, probably another two to three weeks or so where I want to be. But... Um, but to be invited to the, to the trials in Jamaica is just a, another opportunity. Another opportunity, yes, it is. Uh, you, you, uh, in terms of that, uh, this this might be a question that not not even ask. Uh, you're still an Ardian cricket fan. You, you're still an Ardian player. You went to New York the other day, I think it was. Uh, yeah, just I was about in a New month. York to, to just play. over a month, I think yeah. it was. There's about. Yeah. 
I saw some familiar faces, so probably that brings back uh, great memories for you. Um, um, I think it does, of course. I think Dill was there, and then obviously you had the, the, the other great players. Of course, you had Shivan. I saw Sanford, I, I saw, Pedro, Sanford, I saw uh, Darren Pedro's Gango well, was Darren, there, yeah, and then um, Nagamutu, Mahendra was there, and stuff like that. Yeah, we had a lot of ex. Did Vishal, uh, did, did Vishal, Vishal was there, yeah. You're taking pictures more, sir. Yeah, I, I think he was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it brings back, you, you still have the passion for cricket. Yeah, at the I end do, of the I day. do, I at do. The end of the course, day. that's the only thing drive you once you have that passion once you have the passion yeah. indeed uh, yes like tell me don't come to work and don't do radio and just stay home and <laughs> be a producer and just stay home and that, that, that might not work out for me as it is uh, but this year now of course you're headed to Jamaica sometime soon on the night yeah, on the night, night yeah. on the night when that actual tour because I know they're saying 2015 the tournament 2016. starts on the 4th but Jamaica they've got a couple of practice games the four matches November. November. Yeah. Fourth of November. So it rolls into into the new year. That's right. Yeah. Rolls I think it takes about five to six months to complete the tournament. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're excited on that now. Now on the of note on, on the note of cricket as it is, uh, um, we we uh, step away. We started from back in the days of Ram Narayan until where you are today. Mm -hmm. um, now we know that you've gone into uh, um, like the, like in, in life, you know, we move from different stages. We move from different stages. We've been talking. Uh, the the public would heard sometimes. I'm talking fitness fifty three. Someone uh, probably uh, who locked on with us right now would have heard me mention it sometime in the past. Uh, um, every now and then, but we have not given much details onto this. Uh, change uh, change your fitness, change your life. Uh, welcome to the evolution. Fitness fifty three, and not a venture for Ramnari Sarwan and his team right now. It is. Um, it's a it's a gym. Obviously, um, I decided to name it Fitness Fifty Three because um, the significance of Fifty Three. I was getting there. Yeah. I was I was it's getting my, there. It's my identity. So mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. it's a gym that I've been working. The vision I've had over uh, three to four years now, and mm -hmm. it's really good to see it's coming to. Yeah, it's. Right uh, now. It looks like it's coming to a life because um, I mean you've there almost every day. I've visited a couple of times now, uh, just a couple of days back, and uh, we're not very far away in terms of that completion mode. That's right. Tell me a little bit behind this, of course, uh, this uh, being yourself, being involved in cricket and a sports personality, there, there got to be some, some catch into it in the sense of proper facility we're talking about here, and the equipment and all of that too. That's right, but see, I don't want to really get into the situation where I'm criticizing other people. No, we're not criticizing. We're not criticizing. We're not criticizing. But um, mm -hmm. it's a, a situation where I think when you do something, you want to do to to the very high standard. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just like when I, I I played. Obviously, when I perform, I try to perform a very high standard. So, it's the same kind of vision and the same kind of thing I'm trying to do here. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Hopefully. It will be something that the, the public would, would really like and, and attend. And um, Fitness 53, of course, uh, at Providence, between the stadium and the Red Loom, that's the very first building as you just you come off the road. That's right. Just you come off the road. So if someone was right hand side. Yeah, so someone is probably passing on the East Bank Road and they're seeing that building that is picking up some peace. Uh, and we're on the second floor as it is, right? Yeah, we're on the second floor at the back. Uh huh, sure good. Is. So you have lots of facilities, parking and all of that will be Yeah, we will have uh, about 340 parking. The gym itself is about 12,000 square foot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but in terms of the equipment and stuff like that, those stuff should be here by the end of this month. Um, and we should be able to. Hopefully, get run by between the fifteenth of October and the twenty fifth. There's about it, yeah. and the trainers you've already highlighted that and all that department. We've got a few, uh, few mm -hmm. applicants and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. we're still coming. We're still looking at them. Um, we've got a team together. We mm -hmm. be meeting tomorrow, mm -hmm. and trying mm -hmm. to finalize uh, schedules and things like that, and, and finalize with the trainers and, and start doing interviews. Why? Why a gym? Um, how why I mean I know you mentioned like about three to four years has been something I've, I've been hearing it from you a little while also. Uh, but why did you uh, choose a gym in terms of, you know, there, there are many other business ventures. Why do you choose a gym in, in terms of that line uh, as it is? Well, people are coming very health conscious in Ghana as you're aware. Um, mm -hmm, maybe when mm -hmm. you go to bodies, even at the East Bank and other gyms around Jarchong, you find there's a, a lot of people. But this particular gym is, is just, our, or this particular building, I should say, is just part of a two-phase project. Um, there's a mm -hmm. second phase that would probably start sometime in another year or so. All depends mm -hmm. on how well. Of course, our project goes. Project goes. Right. All right. Well, sounds like the sounds all good. Uh, sounds all exciting. If you're just joining us uh, this morning, of course, uh, we're chatting with Randall Ray Sarwan, uh, and of course, uh, talking uh, two ventures this morning. He's heading across to represent, uh, play for Jamaica. It's now it's, you're going for trials because I think I just saw it in the newspaper that Asad Fudadin made a 65 in a trial for Bur in a Bur in a Burbies match. So I guess it all narrows down the guy, and a team will be selected from the same uh, trial match that I'm, I'm now seeing as well too. I'm not sure how to go about. It. To be honest, I haven't really been following um, how Ghana has been selecting their teams and stuff like that. But 
I would assume the the, the traditionals that they have in the county. In the county, that's getting right. into that uh, four-day right. lineup altogether. Four, yeah. And of course, this franchise goes across. Like I said, you're new to it, I'm new to it. It goes across the region. That's right, yeah. So we might be seeing a Trinidadian or a, or a for four playing for, for well, the it's already. I think that they have already had a draft. I think there are two uh, Bajan who will be representing Guyana. Oh. I think it's Reefa and I uh, uh, couldn't remember the next guy he played mm -hmm. for Trinidad Red Steel. For Trinidad Red Steel. Yeah. All right, so the draft is already complete. And I'm, I'm thinking that this narrowed down only to Caribbean players. Yes, it does. It's it narrowed down yeah, together. So it gives right. you that inter-Caribbean connection That's right, yeah, uh, all does. together with it. Uh, yeah. But of course, you know, around the race, um, we're always happy to, to, to chat with you. Uh, I have uh, some of my producers said that they want a, a one-hour interview with Randall Ray Sarwan. <laughs> yeah, my film team, they're, they're telling us, Good morning, Lewis. Yeah, Akim is up to the side. Lewis and the guys are telling me they want a one-hour detailed interview with Randall Ray Sarwan. I, right, boy, I said, boy, I'll get Ronnie and that for sure. Uh, Ronnie, uh, we want to wish you well uh, for the Jamaica Scorpio, of course, uh, heading into the night. Uh, but um, just before we go, I think there's something that you want to uh, make some line up on the Fitness 53. That's, that's, that's a new venture that, uh, that we're heading into very soon, uh, very soon. And, and preparations are going, going on that. Uh. Yes, there are. Um, some of the stuff that we also be offering is like things like aerobics, which is uh, very common. Mm -hmm. Zumba mm -hmm. spin classes. And obviously we try and get um, nutritionists to be able to advise, advise you on, on your, on your, on the your way of eating as you're coming right, to the gym yeah. as well. That's so it's right. not only about working out. Uh, and um, it's not just about working it's like, out. It's just bringing a service to people, right? And mm -hmm. just people coming to, to, to join the gym. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we want to also reach out to people and try and help them the best way we can. Yeah. So if you're here now, we're talking. I've never mentioned it. It was out on social media. Fitness 53. Welcome to Evolution. Uh, your fitness, your life. Uh, coming soon. Just about uh, October there's about. We're pushing yeah, towards probably that. Yeah, probably the 15th between those two. To, I know that you are off of Facebook. Do you see the love that you still have for <laughs> Ramdari Sarwan as it is? What do, you tell, what do you tell those fans? And I mean, we're, we're around the world right now in New York and in all over the world through our online link at Right to Home. What do you tell those fans? That someone is still holding a bat and want to emulate and want to be Ramdari Sarwan in another five, in another ten years. He's maybe six or, or he's maybe ten or twelve. What do you tell that youngster right now? Just make sure that you dedicate yourself. Um, obviously, at that age, all you want to do is to, to enjoy it. But I think once you dedicate yourself and put in the hard work, um, you can uh, succeed in anything that you want to do. And obviously, um, going back to the Facebook issue, I think it was mm -hmm. quite shocking. After one week, I probably had about 2,000 friend requests. I mean, <laughs> that was something. That, that shows you that... Yeah. Uh, that you have a fan base yeah, that's right. and um, you know we're always proud of your fan base and um, always proud of your achievements as well Ronnie thanks for coming in this morning on Rise uh, let's wish you a good day of course alright and to all the listeners if you're now joining with us uh, we just chat with Randall Ray Sarwan we will get that uh, interview on television we'll get it on social media so if you missed it in its entirety stick with us because uh, Rise continues right here on uh, iRadio the heartbeat of Ghana Fitness 53 coming soon and as of course uh, the uh, gym that Ronnie was talking about of course we'll lead up more, many more interviews leading up to that uh, opening of the gym of course a time check 8 hours at 33 and 40 seconds <laughs>